Hey, boo. Thank you so much for tuning in. All right, I'm going to pull a card real quick from Believe in Your Own Magic. Okay, so I'm, I'm waiting for my food to finish cooking in the air fryer. So that's why I said I'm going to make this quick. Okay, so y'all may hear this industrial sound in the background. That's what it is. But however, y'all, how y'all doing tonight? Okay, um, let's see what comes out. This is collective, y'all. Don't forget, flip your rolls. Take only what you need. Leave the rest and use the spirit of discernment. Okay. If it doesn't resonate, it's all good. Don't force it. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, my true guys, for showing up and showing out. Protect me as I go through these portals. Close the gates to anything not in alignment with the divine's will. Thank you so much for using me as the messenger. The storm card comes out. Okay, so every hurricane comes to an end. If you're going through a storm, it's coming to an end. Okay, if you're in the midst of a storm, it's going to come to an end. Okay, some of you may be getting ready to go through a storm, but don't worry. It's going to come to an end. Don't let your crown tip. All right, um, still hold on. Okay, now let's see. Just when you think things were taking a turn for the better, in came a hurricane. Okay, so it may be exhausting trying to survive, but rest assured, the clouds are finally starting to part, making room for the much needed sun. Okay, so don't worry. Like I said, whatever is coming to pass or whatever has uh, you already experienced, you can ready to see a rainbow. You will see a rainbow. You will have a fresh start. You will get a new beginning. Tell me about this storm. Nine of Cups in the reverse position. So one, something here with whatever it is you may have been praying for, okay, or wishing for, the chariot card comes out, okay? So... However, it's like I do see you being a little dissatisfied or disappointed, okay? Um, the Queen of Wands is in the reverse and the Seven of Swords is in the reverse, all right? Y'all already know my reverse core cards are usually karmic energies. Now, whatever I'm, I'm seeing and how I'm seeing it, it's like you are definitely going in the right direction, okay? Like I said, I still see victory written all over your name. And basically, whatever the challenges is, you're going to get your breakthrough, like I said, okay? Or you're already starting to see this breakthrough. Whoever this Queen of Wands reverse is, all right, it could be a fire sign energy. It doesn't have to be, but this person can probably be very um, explosive, confrontational. Um, they could be just downright, you know, off the chain. Let's just put it that way, all right? I'm not going to talk no more shit about the Queen of Wands reverse because them, they root it, all right? Some of them even can do spell work, okay? But however, somebody is either going to get caught, all right, at something or a revelation going to come about or something's going to be exposed, right? Whether this person comes out and confess something or the universe reveals some type of truth here. So this person, yeah, whoever this is, has definitely been trying to deceive you, okay? And I feel like... It's going to be revealed to you, all right? So whatever's done in secret, how whatever's done in the dark will come to the light. And it's coming to the light, okay? So show me about this here. What was done? What will come forward? Well, give us a some kind of clue here. Yeah, something's going to be brought to your awareness about this situation. Tell me what I need to see. Look at that the devil comes out all right next to death card here in the reverse okay so again whatever is happening is being removed all right you will overcome this issue this person this karmic person is definitely refusing to accept some type of ending here okay they're definitely disappointed but they're stuck all right yeah they're stuck Okay, so somebody could be detaching from this person, okay? I feel like this person I just heard could also be, I, I don't know, I heard temptress. Somebody who uses um, sex to seduce. Nine of Wands in the reverse, okay? So yeah, they create a lot of adversity basically all right and it could be depleting your energy like I, like I said you may be exhausted from this you're tired all right but um at the end of the day I'm here and still stay resilient resist the urge to bend 
because this person may try to bring a raft, all right, or a storm, if that makes sense. They may try to, they may be the person or the reason why you're going through this storm, something that they're they're doing, okay? What are they doing? What is this Queen of Wands reverse doing? Knight of Cups in the reverse. So what I'm seeing here is they're out of touch with reality, honey. Like they literally are unrealistic here and very unreliable. And it's triggering a masculine energy, okay? Here with the star card coming out. Why is this star card here? It's like they have some type of hope for something. They had some type of hope or they having some type of hope for something, but it's not happening. Two of Pentacles in the reverse. Okay, they're still not able to um, connect here with this masculine energy. They're still, it's like awkward, all right? And it's like they're not getting the cooperation that they want. The temperance card is in the reverse, right? So again, it's creating an imbalance here um, <coughs> within this connection and also within this person. It's a lot of codependencies and addictions. Eight of Pentacles here in the reverse position. Okay, so again, it's like I'm definitely feeling like if this is you or somebody connected to you, they, they burnt out from this situation. Okay, very burnt out from this situation. And, and because of that, they may actually come in. Here go that Knight of Swords reverse. Um, very quickly, very hasty, very aggressive and hostile. Okay, um, or you may be if you're operating in this masculine energy. However it goes, whoever this common person is here they have a lot of unrealistic expectations look at that king of pentacles four of wands and the king of cups comes out and how i'm looking at it it's like the reason being is because they're seeing this masculine energy as somebody who um is a great provider okay dependable um they may feel like they handle their finances well like they got money or whatever but it's like whatever foundation that they were building is unstable okay um, look, I ain't, I wasn't supposed to go this long in this video, but God damn it, the guy did it, okay? <laughs> but however, it's unstable, all right? And they were expecting here that they were going to be able to shift this energy of this masculine. And they thought, hey, they're going to come in, right? King of Cups comes in with love, right? But it's two cups. So I see this King of Cups is offering another cup, a bigger cup than somebody else, okay? Um, and again, that's not happening, right? So whatever... It is that is creating this storm. Something's going to be brought to the light. Look at that King of Cups. Tell me more about this King of Cups. Something's going to be brought to the light. Okay. Tell me about this King of Cups. Yeah, the, the King of Cups is exhausted. Okay. So, seven of wands in the reverse, all right? They they definitely are tired of fighting up against this adversity, right? They've been trying to defend themselves, but it's a lot of opposition. This is also part of karma is how I'm seeing it with that will of fortune in the reverse. So, they definitely have had some setbacks, okay, because of this situation here, but it's also because of certain choices is how I'm seeing it, all right? But again, you know how the cycles go, it eventually gets better again. Um, and that's how I'm seeing it. It's like whatever the storm that you or this person is going through, they will be coming out, okay, of this storm still with their crown on. <laughs> Straight like that. All right. So, anything else? I seem like that's it. Mm hmm. Look at that. <laughs> disruption still tower moments all right so whatever's gonna happen um it's gonna be sudden okay very unforeseen so you ain't even gonna see this coming or this person ain't gonna see this coming but it's happening to totally shift this 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 situation it, it got let me tell you the storm has to come the tower has to fall um to shift this situation completely with this karmic energy so what is being told is to stay in your ground spiritual strength card comes out 
and choose wisely of course we already know what that's about and then the base chakra okay so yeah it may rock you a little bit right but make sure you're grounded what well, this person needs to make sure that they are grounded most definitely um but overall what i'm saying is like regardless of what adversity is coming through as long as the right choice is made okay um they can withstand whatever this is they're tired i definitely see this masculine energy is tired of struggling but now is just definitely not the time to give it. It's how I'm seeing it. Um, yeah. I feel like they're going to stay in that ground. Off the back. I feel like they they are going to um, stand in their power and make the best decision. Because what I'm hearing is like this mask one has been um, reflecting. Let's just put it that way. Okay. So the Wheel of Fortune comes out. All right, so tell me again why this Wheel of Fortune is coming out. Okay. Nine of Wands reverse. Yeah, basically that's what I'm saying. It's like something may take a turn, okay? It's definitely some type of adversity. You may be feeling like you're losing energy because of it. But you definitely have the inner strength to complete what you're working on with that spiritual strength card coming out. All right. So it's like just choose wisely. Whoever is going to be put up in this predicament. Okay. So it's going to be some type of conflict. Look at that. Tower card comes out again in the reverse position this time. But the five of swords. But the way I'm seeing it, it's like it's whatever it is. It's like it's a wake up call basically. Okay. Like you will be able to still rebuild from from whatever the conflict may be, all right, as long as you continue to move forward and to release whatever that is, it's about you moving on and even staying away from the conflict if you possibly can, okay? Um, you know, sometimes some things that is unavoidable, uh, it shows up at your doorstep, right? <laughs> like, God damn it. <laughs> but however, again, I feel like I need to pull from the Believe in Your Magic deck again. Beast. okay so slow down and just celebrate yourself all right um i'm gonna read that from the book for you guys and i'm gonna close out sometimes life get a little hectic right and the inevitable happens we forget to take a breath a breather and celebrate what deserves celebration so make sure you do that from now on if we never stop to fully recognize the good we have, then the bad stuff can knock us down much harder than it would have otherwise, okay? So, yeah, just slow down. You know, whatever's coming, it may feel like it's bad, okay? It may feel like it's actually pretty goddamn chaotic, okay? But however, just really sit down and just reflect and see what you actually have and what is actually working for you, right? Because the way we get through our storms is is basically how we perceive it, okay? Um, and you can get through this. Like the card said, you have the spiritual strength to be able to do this, all right? Let me show you all the card, especially if you stay in your ground, okay? You got that spiritual strength. Definitely see with your third eye, okay? You got the inner strength to be able to withstand this storm, all right? I, and what I just heard is like you are, um, you can't be moved, you command the mountains to move, okay? So whatever comes up against you, I command you mountain to move, all right? Um, this can't knock you down. Yeah, this can't knock you down. When you stay in a state of appreciation and in the frequency of love at a high level, whatever storm comes through, you're you're in um, unshakable. That's the word I want to use. You're unshakable, literally. You have to know what your um triggers are okay your extremes so that you'll know how to balance yourself when something comes up against you and how to stay balanced right because you see how she's still sitting there pretty she's still sitting there like the storm is blowing but bitch my crown ain't moving okay i'm still good all right so look, come on now still eating still feasting still celebrating all right, so you already know what to do. Stay on your ground. I love you guys. Believe in your magic bulls. Peace.